Hello my friends, John LaRuffy here with another Unbiased Unboxing, and in this episode we're going to unbox this brick of a game, Hadrian's Wall. I swear there is actual bricks inside because it is so heavy. All right, let's get, it, uh, let's get it going. As usual, everyone, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel so I can bring my number of subscribers up from where it is right now. Okay, like I said, this is some beef. I don't understand why they can't just make it into a bigger box. You can clearly see that this thing does not want to fit right now, and I hope that when I'm done unpackaging it, it actually does fit. Okay, besides that little rant, I absolutely appreciate seeing the game set up, like I always say, that's cool. And uh, the cover art and everything else is good too. So all that's fine. No beefs or complaints there, just I hope I can get it into the actual box when we're done. Look at you, looking at you, Paul in the West Kingdom. All right. <clears throat> so here we go. Let's see if there's anything on the inside. No, no specialty on the inside. We got this uh, Roman-looking dude over here on the rule book and the front cover. And immediately we are met with, um, oh, I don't know. That's all right. It's not too bad as far as the size of the text and such. Looks like it's a pretty big rule book, though. So it's going to take some doing. This one's not going to be an easy, light roll and write. Looks like we've got a lot going on. If you could see, you know, this is spreadsheet looking kind of situation, which we'll check out in a second. So anyway, lots of pages here. We do have an iconography back of it. I'm just kind of to see if there's anything special for solo at the end. Changes for one and two players. So there you go. You get your little blurb there at the end about what you do if you're going to do just a few. All right. And then the icons. So we've got the strategy. I'm uh, oh, sorry. The um, little plug for the rest of their games in here. Yada, yada. And here's the culprit for some of that bulging. So we've got wooden pieces. Okay, we have standard wooden looking blocks. I guess they're not standard, they're a little bit different. They have, um, you know, they're, they're more looking like stone blocks than they are just regular cubes. So there's some texture there. And we've got some little guys in four different colors. Okay, which cannot be for the players because it's one to six players. So these guys obviously must mean something different. Then we've got a bunch of cards here, which we will open up. And I just purchased some card sleeves today along with it because I was short on a certain type. Let's hope I got lucky and purchased the right ones. Yes, I could have easily searched that beforehand, but didn't think of it until just now. Okay, card quality here smidge on the thin side there is a texture um and as we look at it though it does look like it's colorful and has the icons you're gonna most likely need etc so lots of different similar or sorry, lots of different similar nice lots of similar looking cards in this stack here as you can tell and then we have some other ones here with names on the top <laughs> etc. All right. And then we have another stack. Different. Okay, different backing. Well, actually, take that back. So these are probably, maybe it's, well, you got these right here. So this is some of those named cards right there. Then you got a whole bunch of angry looking invader like cards there. And then let's see what we have. As we dig deeper, into our fortifications. Okay, and now we have different, maybe that's your player colors right there. Okay, so yeah, probably. So you have yellow, red, orange, green, blue, and then black over here. So these have to be similar decks that you get um, you know, depending on which color you are is my guess that so they're all going to be same. 
same kind of situation. Yeah, they all have the same in there. And I don't think there's any differences when I peek at them from a standpoint of the actual content on the card. So it's not like uh, one player or another would be different in, at least I don't think so at a glance, asymmetrically different. No, nope. okay. So those are a bunch of cards there. Now let's see some cardboard here. This is gonna be what's starting to make up the weight here. We've got some punch boards and these are nice and thick. So that's cool. All right, we've got looks, looks like some countryside interlocking spaces here. Okay, and on the back, uh, depiction of a cloudy, roady landscape or a cloudy, wally like landscape, so to speak. All right, and then our massive, what's really taken up the weight. Holy cow. Now, I have not seen as many player uh, um, sheets in any roll and write game I've ever played, but they are certainly giving you plenty. They are single-sided, but I think you're going to have no problems with running out. And if you do, I guess at the very end, you can probably just make a laminated copy or something with some dry erase. But there is a lot of stuff on this thing, so I want to try to give you guys some looking... Uh, nice, um, you know, zoomed in. There's just a ton here. Now, of course, I don't know how to play yet, so I'm not exactly what I'm sure what I'm looking at, but there is a dense amount of information on this and a dense amount of information on this. And my expectation would be, you know, with each game, you would grab two sheets, one of each, and they would go together, and you would have what you're needing. So that is what takes up so much room. And I think it will fit in the box once we punch it out and smooth it out here. Um, you're gonna have to just probably level these out, barely get it in there. So that's it. All right, hope you enjoyed the unboxing. Thanks again for watching everybody. And whatever you play next, I hope you have a great time. Take it easy.